The Hopkinton Freedom Team recently joined us on the Hangout Hour to talk about their active bystander training program. Kathleen, let's start with you because I have been reading the word training uh, in relation to the Freedom Team. So let's talk about uh, what's coming up for, for training. Yeah, um, I think that this is really one of the more powerful and beneficial things that uh, our town can be doing right now, and you know, especially in light of Michaela's death, when people have been asking us, what can I do? I think this is something that um, really can benefit all of us. Um, it can not only empower us to be able to act as an active bystander when we witness or are the target of some sort of bias, um, but we can also stand up for others and we can also learn to listen very deeply and um, show much greater understanding and empathy and try to repair some of the division that it has been occurring in our community for a very long time. And okay, let's let's start with that because I've actually heard that phrase before, but in case someone hasn't, there's an what is the definition of an active bystander? Anyone? Um, yeah, anyone can answer that one. <laughs> All right, Sarah, you want to jump in on that? Uh huh. Um, well, I, I think it's, um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, an active bystander would be somebody who is involved, has some uh, proximity um, to to a situation. Um, you know, I, I went through the training and I, I found it just super helpful uh, and useful and practical. Um, we, we broke out into little breakout rooms on Zoom and practiced responses of, of de-escalating, taking pauses, saying, hey, I was uncomfortable with that. Um, they let you uh, figure out kind of what your preferred verbiage is for, for saying things. Um, and it was just super helpful because you, you you think, how many moments in life have we been in where you think, oh man, if I could just rewind, I would do it different. Well, one of the reasons why we don't do it different when we're, we're in the moment is because we haven't had any practice and how many things in your life do you practice saying this is, this is something that we, it's really good to, to get that practice and support and do it in a safe environment with friends. So um, it was just really helpful to, to have some of useful tools, useful things to say and practice saying that, Hey, when you hear something that, you know, might be uh, hurtful or uh, not helpful, certainly how can you react and respond well, because um, I also think the reality is most of us will hear things that are not helpful, that are hurtful, and how do we respond well in that? So um, in a way that doesn't escalate or, or accuse. Um, so, and honestly, the training was also fun. It was fun to talk to other people. Um, they had great situations and scenarios um, that came from uh, the community. So um, I, I that's, that's my perspective on being part of the training. It was great. Um, and a very quick answer to your uh, question about what an uh, active bystander is. The next session of the active bystander training program will take place on June 16th at 5.30 p.m. You can find more information at hopkintonfreedomteam.org.